seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! All it took was a miracle to turn Lake Placid, New York, into a popular winter destination. It certainly has put us on the map to have hosted the Winter Olympics twice. After hosting the Winter Games in 1932 and 1980, ski tourists packed the slopes and valleys around this secluded Adirondack village. But when the buzz surrounding the Games faded, so did the town's attraction as a popular winter vacation spot. A lot of people, your generation, the generations after you, unless they're really into hockey and care about the miracle on ice, they're not necessarily going to think that first when they think of Lake Placid. A recent U.S. News Travel article calls Lake Placid one of America's six most forgotten vacation spots, thanks in part to its isolation. But townspeople here say winter is not the draw. You know, everybody sort of thinks winter's the deal. It's not. It's uh, really a warm weather destination overall. During the 1980 Winter Olympics, the Miracle on Ice took place inside this very arena. And while many people consider Lake Placid, New York as a winter sports mecca, most of its tourism actually comes during the summer. In fact, the village attracts an average of a quarter million tourists per year. The majority of them visit between May and October. Uh, people saying it's forgotten? Well, the numbers don't show that. We've seen continued improvement even in the downturn economy since 2008. Our numbers continue to increase. But little has changed since 1980. While the Olympic Village is now a federal prison, you can still see the Olympic logo scattered between the mom and pop shops all over Main Street. The village hosts many winter sporting events, but they still have trouble surviving the months they're supposed to be known for. The summer is always a busy, busy time, but our marketing may be, uh, may be off. You know, or, or, or the, the, the travel uh, situation has changed. Brian Delaney is an outdoor adventure guide in the Adirondacks. He says the modern day traveler has adapted to the tough economy. People have less time and they want to get from point A to point B quickly. But as the excitement of the 1980 Olympics looms in the village's distant past, Lake Placid promotes its coziness to draw in potential travelers. We need to get the word out to, to let them know that we're here, we're waiting for you, come and visit. Reporting in Lake Placid, Adam Roswodowski, NCC News.